Okay, so I just decided to turn on my camera because I haven't recorded today. It is so dark in this room. So you can see my nose and my cheeks and a little bit of my forehead. Oh yeah. But anyway, today has been pretty okay. Better than yesterday, so that's a win. I went to church this morning for like a women's prayer session. And then I went to get um, Chinese food at a buffet with my mom. And then we came home and we napped. And then I woke up and I've just kind of been chilling. Just talking about things with my mom and my sister a little bit. My little sister who's here with me but doesn't want to be on camera. It's all good. So I just wanted to turn this on so I can be consistent with the vlogging. In fact, let me actually get up and go to a more lit area. All right, so I'm actually about to go to go to my uncle and my aunt's place just so they can give me some encouragement. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go to my auntie and uncle's house. I kind of don't like talking about the situation all the time, though, but my mom wants me to go, so I guess I'll go with her. And it's all good. It's all good in the hood. All good in the hood. Say what? All good in the hood. So. All right. Oh, I read my daily devotional today. And, of course, I prayed a few times today. I need to be remembering to wake up and the first thing I do is pray and then before I go to sleep, pray. So the before I go to sleep thing, like to me, it sounded hard at first because it's like in my head, I was thinking, oh, like right before I go to sleep, I should just pray. But it's like, but, but it's, but it, the hard part is like, how do I know when I'm going to go to sleep? You know, when I'm sleepy, I want to just sleep, especially now that I'm not sleeping, but it's like a heinous and you can just pray anytime at night like when you're like before I get into the bed <laughs> I just thought of it in a stupid way but yeah so once I wake up just pray when I wake up at 2 3 in the morning like I've been doing just pray I've been having more peace of mind in terms of just thinking of things that's just really reassuring about my situation and just knowing that everything's gonna be okay so I just need to continue to remind myself about those things and everything will be fine. And I told myself today, like, when did I stop losing faith in God? Like, do I only have faith in him with my studies or do I have faith in him with my life, like the rest of my life? Like, I need to stop this. Like, he's the same God that helped me match, boy, when I was going through all of this. I still found some type of courage to get up and interview and I matched like and I was saying I can't I can't yes I can and I did and I matched not only did I do it but I matched <sighs> wow anyway so yeah so I need to stop showing God that I don't trust him because that's not funny that's not funny because if I don't trust him then he can be like okay well since you didn't trust me then here you go this is what you thought was gonna happen so boom just like I used to say before I need to stop being upset over nothing because then God's gonna give me a reason to be upset now he gave me a reason to be upset so, hmm. but anyway it's okay it's not too late to start having faith I just need a little bit of faith as a mustard seed that's the good thing when I was younger I used to be like oh I can have a lot more faith than a mustard seed that's easy and then adult, when real life starts happening, you see that, that mustard seed faith. You'd be like, ooh, I'm glad that's all I need. But boy, if I had any more than that, I don't know if I could do it. So, but yeah, I just try to remind myself about things. To remind myself, like, it's okay. God is still on the throne. He is still working on my case. And he's still on my side. And I still have favor with him. And he still loves me. Jesus loves me. That's like very good to know that he loves me. <laughs> That's like more of a big deal than I thought when I was younger. 
know the song Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones in him below. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible told me so. Like, it's like when you're young, those things get get instilled into your brain, in your memories, so that when you're older, you can remember them and use them. Because when you're young, it's like, yeah, Jesus loves me. It's like, ooh, Jesus loves me. But no, like, Jesus loves me, so I know I'm okay. Like, I shouldn't just be like, the world is over, everything sucks. What sucks? What sucks? Nothing sucks. Like, <laughs> am I kidding? <laughs> I'm talking to my little sister, is so nice. Like, she just reassures me, like, like, people make mistakes, bro, so, like, it's okay. Like, no one's disappointed in me, no one's upset at me. People just want me to feel better, and then they'll be fine. They're like, we just don't like what you're going through. Like, just feel better, and this whole family will be good, like, so. I just started thinking about the past again and what I could have done. I need to stop that. I need to reassure myself that God is working on my case. I should calm down. I should trust God. He loves me. I'm still a child of God. I have favor with Jesus. He showed me all the time. He's still there with me. So who am I? To like, be, like why am I even worried? Like, it literally makes no sense. I need to be able to sleep again, because then to me, that will prove to me that I'm no longer worried. I need to first believe it first, and then, then my sleep will come back, because now I think it's kind of like a habit of not sleeping a little bit, because once your body gets used to something, I feel like, you know, you'll have to just break that habit. So, I do trust the Lord. I do trust God. And it's like, I'm getting stronger and more prayerful. And I say, oh... I could have been more prayerful before, uh, you know, any of this happened. That was my plan. How do I know? Like, how do I know? I don't know. But I know now that I am. I don't know if I was going to before. I mean, maybe I would have. But maybe I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have thought that I would have acted like this in my situation now. But I did. So, who am I to say, oh, this is what I would do if this happened? I don't know that until I'm in the situation. So, it's all good, though. I just need to continue to trust God, and I do. I trust Jesus, and I love you, Lord. I love you, God, so much. God's love is unconditional. No man's love is unconditional except for Jesus's. So, that's a good thing. Like, I still have Jesus. So, why... Like, what do I think I'm missing out on, or what do I think that I'm regretting, or what do I think I'm, any, like, I have Jesus, it's cool. Like, it's okay. Jesus is on my side. And something bigger and better for me is in store. I, I feel it. Even my little sister said, like, she feels it. And she won't say stuff like that, but she was like, I actually feel it, like, like, I'm being prepared for something. That's the thing. When you go through things, that means something better is coming, bro. So just, it's okay. Just, 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 I should just trust the process. This is the process that they've been teaching me in church. Like, when you go through hard times, know that something great is in store. Just go through it and continue to have faith in God. In fact, thank God for the hard times. So I do thank God for teaching me things. I thank him all the time. Anyway, okay, I think I gotta start preparing to go now. Bye y'all.